You're selling sexism. You're selling racism. You're selling anything you get your fucking hands on. And understand them. You got a plan it. Presentation advertisers who demand it. You know, a lot of people don't actually talk about this specific fact, but they think I think they have the impression that just because you're not messing with the system or you're not questioning the system that it, the system will leave you alone because you're just a number. Um, that's not true. I mean, they're poisoning all the food, all the water. So what is the point of not standing up for yourself if you're going to get poisoned anyway? Yeah, maybe they won't jack you with the IRS just yet, but they'll do it eventually. It's just your time might be further down on the list. And then at that point, it'll be too late. Maybe they've already taken your guns by then. They've already vaccinated the shit out of you and dropped 5G on top of your head and now you can't even fucking think correctly. You're just writhing on the floor and shitting your pants every two minutes. Yeah, so I mean, now is the time to take action if you're going to do so at all. Violent? I don't know. I don't have answers. I just know this. It's not right and it's not the Constitution. And we have to fight our way all the way back in time to pre-Civil War to get back our country. So that means we have to unwrite a lot of a lot of raw unwrite a lot of amendments and unwrite a lot of laws. That might take uh, time, but progress any direction that way is good. It doesn't have to all happen overnight. The movement that direction is all that matters at the moment. Gaining momentum, gaining ground. So uh, this is a big deal. It's the last place, the last vestige on earth. They take this. We don't get. There's no place to run. And that should scare the shit out of people with families. And it should scare the shit out of young people. Don't worry about the climate boogeyman. It doesn't even fucking exist. The polar ice caps are growing on one side of Alaska and shrinking on the other, making it equal. <sighs> These are the same people crying about global warming and climate change who also dropped, like, Agent Orange on an entire country. And they, let's see... Um, they used to use lead gasoline <laughs> that you can still find in the polar ice caps. Yeah, they're full of shit. They don't give a fuck, okay? So stop acting like they do and stop acting like they speak for you. This 10-year, 12-year death plan, that's a death cult. Get out of it. If you want all the... If you want the... I don't know how to talk anymore because being autistic sucks. So I know what I'm trying to say, but it doesn't always come out. I'm going to leave that in here. I'm not even going to edit that because I want people to understand it's such a struggle for me just to speak. It's not a joke. I mean, everybody else can have a fluid thought. It's not fear of the camera. It's not nervousness. It's none of that. It's just what's going on up here, I can write down magnificently, and it looks like pure surprise shit, right? I try to speak, and somewhere in my Brogus area, there's just a fucking shutdown, and what I'm trying to say doesn't come out. So when I'm trying to think something, I can visualize it, I can feel it, I just, whatever. So what I was trying to say, I hope I can get it this time, is that if you really want to, you know, add substance and flavor and uh, understanding to the things that you're hearing and seeing, um, mostly on the Patriot side or just, I guess, in the, the, the real news and the real events that are occurring, you would benefit from reading certain books. Because then you'll get all the backstory, you'll get all the meat and potatoes, and then things will make more sense, and you'll know when you're being lied to and when you're not. So, and there's a plenty of that going on both sides. So, they, they'll give you a bunch of, bunch of red pill, and then they'll throw a few poison pills in there, and you'll be like, wait a minute, what? And I'll, or you won't catch it, and then you'll just be led down the wrong path. Uh, so the first book that I would recommend everybody read would be Age of Reason by Thomas Paine. And the other one would be um, Eustace Mullins and the Secrets of the Federal Reserve. They relate in a certain way, but not completely. What is going on? Hi. This is great. <laughs> I, I have a hard enough time trying to talk. Now i got to do it over again. All right. So, yes. Eustace Mullins, Secrets of the Federal Reserve. Age of Reason by Thomas Paine. Thomas Paine's the guy who wrote Common Sense, but the book that I would read... If you only had a choice to, of the one, would be, common. Uh, would be Age of Reason. Get familiar with M. S. King, Michael S. King. A lot of his books will help you get the, 
straightforward facts on reality and a lot of his stuff he's going to say is going to be controversial and you probably won't be able to agree with it right away because uh, you've been conditioned and so is everyone else to think a certain way about the court historians and the repetitive hypnotic nature that they say things um, but it's it's you can find validation for it if when you start looking at his references and then you cross-reference those with other references he's not lying he says it a little bit straightforward maybe a little little rough but it's a great it's great to have somebody like that who doesn't bullshit you, you know? It, it, sometimes the truth isn't the most friendly thing because it makes you have to deal with reality. Well, that's too fucking bad. If you want to know what the truth is, you better fucking get used to it. It's not here to make you happy. It's here to make you informed. So, Michael S. King. Everything from the climate boogeyman to a Andrew the Great, the true story about J Andrew Jackson. Um, there's the war on Putin, and this is a pro-Putin book, not an anti, because... It's all bullshit. If you don't like him, it's because you've been conditioned not to, and you've been told a bunch of lies. Putin is a freedom fighter, man, and Russia is more a Christian than it ever has been because of him. He's a, he's a good leader. He's a very good leader. And everything you've been told about him is a lie. Anyway, moving on. Um, there's some stuff called The Bad War, which was a book about the World War II. There's one about Woodrow Wilson I highly recommend. And that'll all tie back into uh, what you read about in Secrets of the Federal Reserve by Eustace Mullins. Now, on the health side of things, like, do you want to know who's poisoning you and how they're doing it? Do you want to know who's suppressing cures for the diseases that they're causing with their industrialization? And do you want to know where the... <laughs> it's easy to follow the money, but do you want to know who the main players are? Uh, they come up constantly throughout each and every aspect of this, then you need to read Murder by Injection by Eustace Mullins as well. The first book he wrote was in the 50s. I think it was 52 when it first came out in limited publishing. Uh, I'm talking about Secrets of the Federal Reserve. Um, the Murder by Injection came out in 1988. And even though it seems it might be dated because it's the 88, everything that he goes over in that is pertinent. It's topical, it's uh, relevant to today, and it tells you a lot. It tells you very, very much. And you know what it's going to do, too? It's going to keep you on your toes and aware when somebody's trying to harm you and when they're trying to give you bad advice about your health. I can't, I can't prescribe <laughs> murder by injection highly enough or as emphatically, emph emphatically enough. It's it's very, very, very good read, and you must... It's like it's like a survival guide. You should hold on to it and take it with you everywhere you go. All right. Uh, like I talked about MS King. Another great um, collection of data, just raw data. Um, doesn't give you, like, opinions or anything like that. He just tells you straightforward what's going on and to de deal with it, basically. And that's Donald Jeffries. He wrote a book called Hidden History, and he also wrote a book called... Crimes and Cover-Ups in American Politics, and that runs from 1776 to 1963, so right after, the, or up to and including the Kennedy assassination. His other book started off at the Kennedy assassination and moved forward into, I think it was about 2016. So those are his two books, and they're they're quite informal. Uh, I meant to say that to mean lots of information. I don't know if I said that right or not. Um... You'd be standing on strong legs just by just by reading those books alone. And uh, if you can't find time to do it, man, get yourself a, a fitness flyer or an elliptical or something like that and post that freaking cell phone of yours with your Kindle on right on top of your freaking little console there and just read as you read as you exercise. That's how I do it. And I go through tons of books a week, month, and year, man. This has been an amazing year for reading for me. I've gotten through more books. All the books I've always been talking about I wanted to read for years I'm getting through them now because of the system I started doing with the elliptical it's easy um, it's easy to get uh, lost in the in the words so the physical effort that you're putting through doesn't make you feel like you're dying as much it's like a nice distraction for your brain so that you don't feel like you need to quit and you're not thinking about how how exhausting the, the exercise is so it works out but yeah um, Michael S. King Look at his body of work. Look around, uh, not just in Amazon, because Amazon is starting to strip uh, books of his, and they're getting rid of them all. Um, there's another guy named John Cerucci, Johnny Cerucci, and 
I've seen him on Freeman TV, but I haven't actually started reading his books. So he's got three very, very large books out, and I've gotten them on Kindle, but I haven't started reading them yet. Um, he talks about the Jesuits, uh, what people falsely call the Illuminati, and the Freemasons a lot. And that's uh, that's something you need to know to, to tie all the tie all the uh, connections together too, and find the path of who's who's giving you the the biggest bang for your fuckery buck because <laughs> they're screwing us over all all over the place. All right, so start off with that stuff. Come talk to me again when you're done. Can't be trusted.